Hey everyone, Dan here. We are in the later half of the trading day on Tuesday, July 20th. I wanted to pop in and take a look at Moderna before we get into it. If you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. And also keep in mind that these are my own thoughts, opinions, ideas. These are not trading or investment advice in any way. Do your own due diligence, come to your own conclusion, and make your own decisions based on what's best for yourself. Okay, so Moderna having a great run up today. Uh, if we want to pop this out really quick, if the app will let me drag this over, uh, we'll come back to it, I guess. But basically, on the news that uh, Japan to buy an additional 50 million doses of Moderna, um, they are partnering with Takeda uh, to supply an additional 50 million vaccine doses in Japan. So, pretty great news for Moderna. And also, uh, the Wall Street bets crowd has latched on to uh, to the run up, and uh, Moderna are mRNA dominating a little over twelve percent of all the comment volume on Wall Street bets at the moment. That said, it is nearly evenly split. Um, Eighty three positive sentiment comments and seventy two negative. So certainly, folks, you know, wondering if there's a pullback uh, that's about to to happen. Um, you know, and it's coming down a bit today, but obviously this is after this huge run up and we do see this volume, um, 44 million versus an average in the past few months of 10 million. So, um, you know, four X the volume. And if we take a look at the volume side of things here really quick, uh, since we did have this big run up ahead of today, uh, it's actually holding quite well. I mean, I know it might be a little odd that I said Moderna's having a good day and it's slightly red, but it's holding up really well from this massive run up that started on 7.8 and again, it's 7.20 uh, at 2.15 or so, or maybe even lower than that, uh, 2.13. And uh, then hitting a high of 3.42.50 um, before pulling back now at 3.12. But I mean, that's holding up remarkably well uh, with a, a little pushback after that huge run up. Now, you see the big buy volume that led up to that, uh, but we are getting really, really high sell volume coming in today. Uh, and the order flow, we're still getting large scale orders coming in on the green side of things. Um, there is a bit of a pullback though. Uh, 1.53% outflow on the large scale orders, one56 on the inflow. Um, and then the medium scale order is actually more out than going in. Same with the small order. So that's where you're kind of getting the pushback and the, uh, the drawdown on, on the price point. But what I wanted to look at is sort of what, what I'm going to be looking for in terms of like a play with Moderna. So I did notice on the daily chart here, you know, if we go back quite some time and we, uh, Let's see if this will work. But we see, you know, here, um, and we have several other places. We have here and here. We have all of these gaps previously that when they presented themselves, um, it's like kind of gaps, but not really. But as these gaps previously presented themselves, I guess you have one also here, they filled. Um, and, you know, that to me is a, a good sign for potential pullback into this area, you know, that we see here. So I'm going to be keeping, you know, a close eye, like on this area here. So I'll extend this out. So this will sort of still show on the chart for a few days. Um, and I do overlap this a bit because you don't know, especially if there is a lot of uh, like retail uh, <laughs> sentiments that turns incredibly uh, sort of positive and hyped that could kind of buck any trend that you are kind of looking to play. But for all intents and purposes, I would look for a pull down into this zone and a potential bounce there. Now, you do have to be cautious because when something draws back down after, you know, such a long run up, especially, it could catch a wave of really bearish momentum and sentiments and, and kind of blow through your zone. So you really have to see what it's doing in that purple bounce zone, uh, you know, if it's going to act the way that you're wanting it to. Now, a couple of additional things that, that I would look at here. Um, oh, leave that there. Um, I would look at the 
fib extension on this most recent run up to see sort of like where we hit. That might be another indication of whether or not there's additional movement to the upside to be had. Um, so if we look at like this area of the run up here, let's see, what is this? 194.51. 194.51. So what I want to see here is basically like, you know, this impulsive move that then pulled back here. Where are we extended at this point? Okay, so we nearly extended to the 2.618 uh, extension zone before hitting it, you know, and, and bouncing back. So that would make a lot of sense to me as an extension point um, for it to hit and then start to pull back. Now, the purple zone that we have as a as far as the retracement goes to put us right back around the 100 which typically when I look for strong extension plays the 100 is the area where I first take my uh, profit or start to take profit and then the 161 um, you know to lock in additional and then see if we can run towards something like the 200 or the 261 up there is very very hyped and extended now on the other side of things if we look for the retracement levels to see where we might bounce. Um, if we just look at this most recent run up here, we catch the bottom there in the 342.50. Basically, what we're looking is for a, a, a confluence of you know various indicators that could lead us to say, okay, here's where we might get pullback, and this might be a good dip buy opportunity. Because obviously, dip buying, in my opinion preferable to chasing. Um, so it's, it'll be a good test for it right now as it's pulling back into this 236 and 382 retracement zones um, to see if it does bounce there. As you know, you know, that can be quite common. Um, but if it can't, you know, it, it would fall at the 618 level right by that purple box. So to me, that, you know, is additional support that, uh, that that could be a good zone. The gap um, the retracement level, the idea that the extension nearly topped out at the 261, uh, those things all make sense to me. Now, other indicators that I would look at to sort of um, see where we might land. On the MACD, obviously we have this huge run up here. Um, that said, <laughs> this MACD is sitting at 23.52, one of the highest uh, areas of uh, on the MACD that I've seen, certainly, that's so far above the baseline, it's incredible. But that obviously does leave a bunch of potential. That said, uh, to the upside, it is still um, sort of maintaining at least its distance from the signal line. So not showing any indication of curling yet. As you'd imagine, the RSI is in the mid 80s at this point. So uh, to me, it'll be interesting to see what it does as it comes down and approaches that 70, if and when it does. At some point, it'll have to take a breath, right? Um, and then on the uh, MA side of things, I'd like to just see sort of where these might come in. Now, these I would look at as potential areas where, you know, if this 20 comes up into the purple zone, we see as we look back here, with a lot of these run-ups, the 20 has held really nicely and given additional support as the price has bumped into it, right? You see that happen here, you see that happen here, and then you see it push off pretty nicely um, in both instances. Um, and even reaching back, you see as it flipped resistance to support here on the 20, it was able to then have a nice push off. Now it fell back through it here, but then it caught support on the 50 and that propelled it to regain support on the 20 and then have these nice push ups and support zones in the future. So I would look for the 20 to be coming in toward this purple box and maybe even by that point, the yellow will be not too far behind, the yellow being the, the 50 MA, um, to provide additional levels of support should Moderna come down and, you know, provide a potential dip buying opportunity. So that's what I'm going to be looking for. Just wanted to sort of share my thoughts. I don't know that it's going to dip. It could certainly keep running. You know, it's obviously very good news. It's very like prescient for, you know, the news cycle at this time, you know, the, the business that Moderna is in. Um, but, you know, 
me not wanting to get caught chasing stocks, which sometimes you you regret later on, but I think in the long run, you um, I've found that I do myself more of a service than a disservice by staying away from uh, feeling like I'm chasing things. And things like the MACD, the RSI, and uh, the FIB levels can help me sort of caution myself against those things. But I would keep an eye on the big volume today and whether it ends up Um, you know, red or green. And even if it does end up green, it's going to be sort of a big departure from the big green days that we had leading up to this. So I would just sort of be aware that there may be some additional selling pressure coming in. But like I said, do your own due diligence, take your own risks, figure out what's going to work best for your situation. There could be more upside ahead, who knows. But for me, I would prefer a dip and catch it on the dip and see if we can get a nice bounce after, uh, after that pullback. All right, well, good luck if you're trading Moderna. I wish you the best of luck. I hope your trading week is off to a good start, and I will see you in the next video.